Hi, my name is Sammy Love. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, nice to meet you. My name is Sammy Love. And if you are not new here, welcome back to my channel. I have a wonderful video for you today. I had so much fun editing this video. I love trying on my clothes. I have so many clothes. When it's summer, I have to put all of my winter clothes into another closet. There's no way that those clothes can just coexist together. I really need to stop buying clothes. I actually bought some clothes today from Zaffle, so I do need to die down my love for clothes, but I want to share with you some of my clothes that I haven't worn before. I have so many clothes to the point where there are clothes that I don't wear as often as other clothes. So I thought it would be so interesting to try to find outfits for those clothes. Nine times out of ten, the reason why I don't wear some of these items is because I can't find something that goes with it. There's something in the realm of that. I love fashion. I love to show off the things that I have. I love to get all dressed up and stuff like that. I'll try to do more videos like this in the future because after I shot this, I realized that there were some items that I forgot. Overall, I think it's important to utilize all the clothes that you have in your closet. For me, it's super difficult because when I have so many clothes, I tend to forget about the clothes that I do have. The money was spent on everything that I have in my closet, so none of it should go to waste. Even if I don't wear it, I need to find something for it, or I need to give it away to someone that could find better use for it. I feel like I've gotten so much more confident in the things that I wear, and it feels so good, and it feels so wonderful to share this with you all. And I hope you enjoy this video. I had so much fun editing this video. I hope you enjoy. Mwah. So the first outfit that we have is this dress that <laughs> I got this dress in San Francisco at Forever 21. It's actually my favorite Forever 21 store I've ever been in my life. Each area had a different theme. Like one theme was like a grunge theme, then there was like floral theme. This dress, I don't know what I was thinking when I was getting it because I have never worn this dress. I've never found use for this dress. To be honest, I don't really know where I would wear this dress to, which is why I'm confused on why I got it in the first place. Thought it, I thought it would be a good idea to cut this dress in half because I feel like the skirt just doesn't really make any sense for me. I feel like it was too long and with the off the shoulder look for me, it didn't really do enough for my figure. As I'm cutting, I realized that once I got to the middle part where the lace is for it because it has like a shoelace kind of design in the middle when i got to that part the fabric was really tough to cut through i like the shirt better without the skirt but the only downside is that the part in the middle just looks really funky off i don't know what i would wear the bottom part with it is a nice tight skirt if you see any other item that i wear in this video that you think would go with that skirt then comment down below because i would love to know what you would think would be nice with that skirt if i should keep it if i shouldn't keep it so i really need to find some use for it because i need to try some new styles so i wanted to kind of dress this up a little bit. I thought it would be super cute to um, dress it up with a nice skirt with some thigh high boots. I love thigh high boots. I feel like it really just throws the outfit together, especially being as short as I am. It, make, it makes me look taller and it makes my legs look longer. I really like it when I really want to show off my legs. Some light skinny jeans, I'll throw like some black thigh high boots or I might do some brown thigh high boots to match the threading on the jeans. One of the things that was funky about this look is that I had cut the shirt really low. It looks very odd with this, but once I took the laces and I tied it, I noticed that in the middle it started to come together. In the end, I really didn't like this look too much because one of the things was that it was weird with 
the way the top was moving around and the way my skirt was sitting was way too high. I would really have to wear something underneath. Felt like with the top and the skirt and the boots, I felt like all of the black just didn't do anything for the outfit. I thought the outfit looked cute, but with the colors, I felt like it really wasn't doing much. I feel like it wasn't making much of a statement. Red thigh high boots, that would be something that I would do. That black, black, red to match the letters on the shirt, but just the all black thing, I feel like it just didn't really sit well with me. My next item is this tank top that I had gotten at Forever 21 in Las Vegas years and years ago. I don't wear this top very often because it's hard to find outfits that match this top and that actually make sense with this top. As you can see, the bra part of the top is um it fits my boobs really weird it like it like touches the face of it but it doesn't cup it underneath but i noticed that there is an adjustable strap in the back and i tried to use that and that helped a little bit this is not what i'm wearing the outfit with this isn't like in consideration or a contender i just needed to introduce the shirt i in love some this so I decided that I wanted to dress this up in some white flare jeans. I feel like with the white polka dots, I feel like the white flare was just the obvious move. I actually haven't worn these jeans in years as well. I'm trying to get more into flare jeans because I love what they do for my shape. Love how the white jeans look pressed against my skin tone. Also, since the there's not a lot of white in the shirt, and since the base color in the shirt is black, having the jeans be solidly white is so bold. Those jeans look so good on my ass. My favorite thing about flare jeans is the fit. Just the tight grip at the top and then just the release at the bottom. I love it. I had so much fun throwing this one together. With the tank top, I feel as if I wanted to incorporate a skirt, especially because when I dress this up with pants, it takes away from the summery look that I want to get from it. If wearing this top on its own, I'm going to be obviously wearing it on a day that's very warm, so I'd want to incorporate shorts and a skirt of some kind, and since the shirt is already somewhat tight, shorts just kind of looked odd. I feel like if I were to wear shorts, I want it to be more baggy shorts. And with the skirt, my favorite thing was that I let the skirt hang really low on my hips, which gave a little bit more room for the top to show. I feel like incorporating the white Reeboks with the white headband was a nice touch. When it comes to jewelry, I like to wear my silvers with um, white and black and my golds with yellows and oranges and browns. I feel like the hoops just make it all look so effortless. The whole look just looks very effortless. Our next look is this top that I got from Forever 21 at the same store I got the Love Means Nothing shirt, which was in San Francisco. I absolutely love this top. I cannot walk out of the store without it. Even though I don't wear this top often, I would never get rid of it. It's just based off of the sole fact that I don't go out enough and there's nowhere that I can wear this to without looking like too much. <laughs> One thing that I like about this top is definitely the arms. I call them bells. <laughs> I like the bells because the arm itself is super tight and then that's what makes the bells look so nice. And it's so cute. The most annoying thing about this shirt for me though is that it does right up, especially with my strapless bra. You can see it a lot too when I'm moving around that the shirt is starting to move upwards and then I have to like continuously pull it down that's really annoying I decided to dress that up with some pants that I normally wear to job interviews my favorite part about this was incorporating the flowers from the last look At the same time looking back at it now I feel like it could have been fine without it um, the thing about me with the pants that doesn't do it for me is the fact that the amount of black in the pants in contrast to the amount of black in the shirt is 
weird but just something about the pants and the shirt even though they're the same color it just didn't really work for me as an outfit together last but certainly not least i loved this look so much i felt like pairing the shirt with the skirt was such a good idea i feel like the design is so pretty and with the bells at the arms of the shirt it does so much for the shirt and then with the skirt with the design i feel like the way it all comes together is so pretty maybe like a walk by the water kind of day outfit or maybe like a cruise outfit at like a relaxing day like yes i'm doing something but i'm not doing something that involves a lot of movement the flowers looked better on this look than i did in the previous look because of the amount of white i love how the skirt fits off my hips i don't really wear long skirts often I hate driving on the ground i hate feeling like i'm like mopping the floor with my skirts when i walk we have reached the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video and would like me to make more videos like this, please comment down below what you would like me to do next and your wish is always my command. I like to thank you for your support and your love through each and every one of my videos. I will continue to go and go and go until I can't go anymore. Hope everyone is well and safe. Follow me on Instagram and Snapchat, which is all down below, or you can wait till the end of this video to catch that as well. Until I see you next time. Mwah.